Wrong bad corpse party. Last time, um, Satoshi went missing after Yuka left to go to the bathroom and encountered a ghost, and then I I, I want to talk at the screen, man. Why won't you let me? I just, I just wanna I want to talk at the screen. Why why do you insist on going and showing me the thing? It's like give me two seconds. To, oh, make a choice or fucking get out. It's like I just want to fucking talk on the screen, man. Crap. Um, yeah, anyways, Toshi went missing, and we were looking for him, and then we found, uh, Morshige, I think, and he was chasing us around for some reason. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let us continue. Uh, we're on this save file, yeah. All right, here we go. <sighs> All right, all right, let's just go. Um, before we stopped, this uh, this cabinet fell over for some reason. Don't know why. Just kind of did, you know. Hmm. Uh, okay, hide somewhere. Hide in here. Hide in hide in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Get this oh. She's gonna get buried alive. What? What? Is this the Oh, it was an all a dream bullshit. Is that what? The fuck was that noise? Oh, hey. The spirit of a little girl appears right in front of Yuka's face, glowing a bluish white. Where the left eye should be, only a gaping empty socket can be seen. What the fuck is that noise? The squirting snip snip sound goes ever louder. Snip-snip sound goes ever louder as the spirit draws closer and it's giant and she holds in her hand. It's a pair of sewing scissors and she's brandishing them dazed and she's really close to Yuka's face. And her blades are dull, rusty and caked with blood. There's little doubt that the following events are going to be unimaginably excruciating. Pizza futile demand over and over again, bringing the blades closer and closer and closer each time. Oh no. His left eye offers a little resistance as the jagged blood soaked blade is plunged deep within.
A vision runs red as waves of unbearable agony trigger unconscious screams of primal, nearly animalistic torment. She instinctively reaches up to pull the scissors out, but just touching them lightly causes new jolt of torturous misery to flow through her body. The sound of a foreign object scraping against her cranium echoes through her mind mercilessly. Not from her eardrums, but directly to her brain. No other experience could have possibly prepared her for this. It's all the suffering of the world cloistered into a single moment. Ugh. It gets especially worse with each heartbeat, yet the trauma of the experience makes each heartbeat faster, creating in this cycle. It's not something you can adapt to, it's not something you can ignore. All you can do is thank heaven above when you finally die. Will you fuck off already? Just give me the wrong end. Fuck off. Just give me the wrong end already. I'm done with this. I fucked up, I know. You don't wanna keep fucking... <sighs> Is it done now? Thank you. Fucking... Ugh. Yeah, I know. Fucking... I fucked up. Tape system data, yay! Well, that was pleasant. And by pleasant, I mean fucking excruciating. Alright, let's try again. I have to hide somewhere. Should we go in the bathroom or continue? Let's continue. Oh, Orshie is still following me. Fuck. Where the fuck do you come from, Orshie? Okay. Seriously, where the fuck did he come from? There's the body again. Don't really know where I'm going, just wandering around at this point. Shiga came out of nowhere. For some reason. It's a music room again. I just want to circle, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's in a circle. Why'd I do that? I'm kind of tempted to let Moshiga catch me at this point. Just see what happens. Cause why the fuck not? Why not? Fucking... I don't care. Okay, I do care because I don't want to listen to their... Another bullshit ending, but... I go in the restrooms, fucking Echo kills me. If I get killed by Moshige, maybe he kills me. Maybe. Maybe that's the thing I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm supposed to let him catch me, I don't know. But, uh, as I, as I pretty much found out so far, when you get caught by something, you fucking get murdered. So. You know, doesn't sound like the best idea in the world. You still following me? I don't know. I don't know where Mashige is. I'm gonna try and go back in there and see if I can escape the ghosts. 
Let's try that since that's like the only thing I can think of. If I fuck it up again and panic, then, you know, I'll skip through it and then come back. Oh. Alright then, coming back when I finish this nonsense. Okay. Now that I'm back to this main screen again, let's try again. And I'm really fucking lost because I don't know where to go. I go in the bathroom, I try to go change in there and murders me. Mainly because I panicked. Can I go outside? Do I get murdered out here too? Oh hey, cool. Can't go either of those ways. Cause Mashige shows up. And then the child ghost shows up. Though interestingly, Moshige doesn't uh doesn't kill me, it seems, because I walk through him. For funsies, let's try that. And see what happens. Should I? For funsies? I could just go in there again and try to dodge a ghost and listen to that fucking long con seating and arcade let my shade catch me and see what the fuck happens. Let's see that. Because why not? Uh, I don't know, Mashige, where are you? Um. Mashige, I don't. He bothers me. Yeah, I don't understand. Mashige, why are you... I don't... What? So he didn't kill me, he just... asks why I'm running away. Alright then. I color me confused. I'm tempted to try this one more time, just... Uh, screw it, I'm gonna wait up. I'm not gonna go consult outside help to see what I have the fuck to do, because I don't know what to do. So, you know... Okay, now I'm back. The outside help, uh, my behaviors, I was able to figure out what I'm supposed to do. So, as far as I know, go through here. Have to hide, go back in here. She feels like she's gonna burst. Go, go over here. Now, child, goes, go back. And now, there we go. Here's a dude. I don't know who this guy is. Who are you? What? That's... Who the fuck is that? That's... that's not Satoshi. Yuya Kamazin. Huh. Forbidden charm. Hmm. I guess. Yes. Yes. You you should explain this guy that he seems friendly, I guess, and has a better grasp of the situation than we do. How I don't know. Huh. 
Huh, I see. Exactly, exactly, yes. I agree, sir, I agree. Alright, Kizami. Alright, Kimaizen, let's go. Kiazami, whatever your name is. Oh, now we're Kazi leaving you go around. Alright then, um, this guy seems like a cool guy. He may be lying through his teeth, and he may be really an asshole. I don't know. But, um, uh, I don't know. All I know is, uh, he seems like a cool guy, and he seems to know what the fuck is going on a little bit. And he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I mean, he's, he's smart. He's smart about things. So, uh, you know, I'm fine with him right now. I don't, I'm not eerie of him at the moment. Seems like a cool guy. Let's go. Let's see if we can find... Oh, and, uh, the guy's not following us anymore. Oshida, I think his name is? Whatever. Hmm. Don't know I guess this guy is another senior? Or is... Yeah. Huh. Is this your sister? Yeah. Oh, uh, Yuka, please. Are you okay? Yep, we seen him. I killed by him. Really? Yeah. Is is that the fucking guy who uh fucking whatever his name is, the blonde guy. Is that the guy who fucking clobbered the blonde guy? Is that that guy? Is that the fucking murderer? Hmm. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah. This guy, uh, seems to have a vendetta. I don't know how he can have a vendetta. But he does. Let's go... What? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. The fuck is that? The fuck is that right there? Why is... Why is that there? You you should speak up about that shit. That's weird. Speak about that shit right there. Why is that here? That shouldn't be here. It should be in this art room right here. The fuck is with that? That's weird. Anyway, um, I'm gonna call this a part after I wandered around for a while. Then I had to get outside help. Anyway, um, next time we come back, we'll continue going on with this guy. I'm not sure of his name, because we just met him. But he seems like a cool guy, even though he has a vendetta, it seems. I don't know what that's that about. But he has a lot more knowledge about stuff, what's going on here, it seems. So that's cool. Anyway, until next time. <laughs>